<laughs> Hello! People, my name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what is? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? T X G H and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make. But yeah, my hammer made it. Texas, you drew huh? Very soon we will conquer everywhere. <laughs> Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send, it's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> A Becker Group of Companies and Sami Flex TV present September to Remember and in September to Remember Dubai tour with Sami Flex. Eti e mwa kwenye na oni ya Dubai. Na mwa kwenye na oni ya 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 Dubai Frame, Atlantic Water Park, Dubai City Tour, na oni ya kwenye na oni ya kwenye na oni ya kwenye na party in the cloud. Eti e mwa ya kwenye na oni ya kwenye na oni ya kwenye na September to Remember Dubai tour with Sami Flex. Na oni ya kwenye na oni ya kwenye na oni ya 29th September. Anne, and for any reservation, and I sent you to the Mubia. And your friends are on my true four way 0243 51 47 32. And now plus 971 559 49 4061. Proudly sponsored by Sankofa Restaurant, Taste Africa, or Hinebaji My TV, and Afe, EDK Media. September to remember Dubai tour with Sammy Flesh. Ebe ye kikim. So MC Baruma was missing in action for some time in the office because he was busy elsewhere. As, as um, you know, he's an IT person, so he was also busy with some projects at his other end. Therefore, he was not making himself available. And today he came through. Now, when he came through, the first argument or conversation he started with me was the fact that, ah, boss, looks like King Promise is sleeping. I said, bro, don't go there. Don't try to say that ever and not anywhere. King Promise is not sleeping. King Promise is active. King Promise is doing the most. King Promise is really the guy of the moment. So far, all the people who have seen do projections of who is likely to win Artist of the Year in the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards, they have all projected King Promise to win. All posts, different kinds of posts that I've seen online, they have all projected King Promise to win, as a matter of fact. And when I heard MC Barima said, I said, you don't know. I have an information I'm going to share with you. And that is why I am seated here to do the editorial. This editorial is to prove to each and everyone who thinks that King Promise is sleeping to wake up. Like when she has been saying, wake up, he is not sleeping. He's working really hard. And I have evidence to show you on that note. Same way, I want us to give some applause to the Asaka boys. Obronini can say, or say Asaka. I want us to applaud them. When they started their music thing here in Ghana, I know some people did not understand their ways. I know at a point, they nearly looked like, oh, then stubborn boys who would not even come for any media interview. Then stubborn boys who would not even mind any media personality. Then stubborn boys who are thinking that they are ruling their own world and that they do what they like. I know at a point, some people were speaking that language about them. But maybe today, looking at what is happening around, I'm sure they are winning. And I have something to say about them as well in this editorial here on Sami Flex TV. My name is Sami Flex. If it is your first time here, I do this speaking from my perspective of experience in the industry, knowledge, 
and being that doing being there and seeing that i share what i know with you in the editorial i don't do that alone i do this with my people digital rasta call him currency who is on camera which flex editor director of the show and you because you have also been adding your commentaries and other things to it i have been doing this with you same way so once again if you've not subscribed to us do and if you've not interacted with any of our videos by liking sharing or commenting this is the time for you to do so do so and let me appreciate you same way tap tap send is an app that to those who live abroad and would want to send money from abroad to ghana you can use tap tap send it is simple t-a-p-t-a-p -T -A -P send download the app on your phone android ios and put in your bank details use your promo code samiflex and let's run if you're able to do this Call me back and let's even say more. Now, let's go on to King Promise. So, I think it was yesterday that one of my numerous friends from Nigeria, um, I'll find a name for you later. The names are plenty now. When they even send me stuff because I've been saving them elsewhere, I miss the people who send it to me. Um, so, my friend sent me this. And I'm going to read some of the things he sent to me. He said, King Promise really loved in Nigeria. That is how he started the conversation. King Promise really loved in Nigeria. In short, people love King Promise in Nigeria. In short, people are admiring King Promise in Nigeria. In short, King Promise has been accepted in Nigeria, whether you like it or not. Then I asked a question, what are the details here? Let me know. Then he sent this to me. He said, yes. This, is, this show is called the Mainland Block Party. It is called the Mainland Block Party. It took place last night in the Lagos Mainland. It's, um, it's kind of a summer party. And it has been going on since June. And it will go on till December. King Promise was really a VIP performer last night. People were really waiting for him. And he really delivered. The show is sponsored by Pepsi and Jameson Whiskey. So next, show, so next show is the Capital Block Party, which will take place in the FCT Abuja, and King Promise would be there too, with the likes of Omale and Co. In fact, when the gentleman sent me, I think, uh, Fuad, right? Let me see if it is my friend Fuad. Let me confirm. Um, I think I have to find a way of saving those who... Oh, uh, no, no Fuad, no Fuad. Oh, is it Michael? Uh, let me see Michael too. Um, so, uh, no, oh, what is the same as Michael, though? Okay, no problem. I'm sure the person knows this. Forgive me. Now, I think I have to be careful because sometimes I think I know the names until I get here, then I forget that the names are plenty. When he sent me this information, I said to myself that this is good news. Then I used that to counter what MC Barima was saying that can promise is sleeping. That King Promise is not working. He thought that, oh, King Promise song is a number one, but he's not doing enough. I said, no, it is not true. King Promise has been performing. He has been performing here and there. He performed even with Whiskey. And in London, he also sold his brand and his song. Though other reports said the people who were watching him did not even do anything. As in, they didn't know the song and they were just standing idle like Egyptian mummies and co. But I said, whether they danced, they cheered or not, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, 60K people heard of him. Thanks to Whiskey. Grateful to Whiskey. Then in Nigeria, currently, I'm sure the gentleman might even be there even as we speak. Performing at all these beautiful places. Let's look at the numbers. Let's look at the love that people were showing him whilst he was on the stage. Let's look at how he was really being loved by the people. And it gives me that confidence that sometimes when the people say that if the song is good and you add all that you have to add to it, it will go. It makes it right. The other day, um, um, Joey Akan tweeted something where he said, oh, King Promise has some people in Nigeria. King Promise is working with some people in Nigeria who are doing the blog. I said, no, that is beautiful. We are grateful to them. But I also seeing that now, after plugging the songs, pushing the song to people to listen to, and now the gentleman is in the country performing, 
I said, deal is done. Deal done. I said to myself like that, that yes, this is what we call a win. A win from all aspects. A win from all angles. The streams are going and the performances are going. Because sometimes you go do the promotion in the name of getting people to stream the songs and you don't follow up with performances. It's like a half-baked cake. But now that King Promise is there performing, I said, this is it. Win, win at both sides. The streaming, the performances. And Omo Niger make it happen. Omo Niger did it. This is not to say that someone will not appreciate something like this. Everybody will. Because this is a complete business. This is a complete win. The song is going, the numbers are being read in, it is looking good, and now he adds the stake to it. If you cannot be grateful to this, or you cannot be grateful for this, then what else? You can only be grateful for this. And I want everybody to know that King Promise has been tipped on from now. We are in September. Sorry, we are in August, and very soon we are entering September. It means we just have about some four months or so left for the year to end. And as it stands now, until any big song or any artist does anything crazy, apart from what King Promises Terminator is doing, he's heading straight to win Artist of the Year. I know in December he'll be doing his As Promised concert as well. And all these things are going to point out to his win. He's been performing at some of these festivals, Germany, um, Afro Nation here and there. He is looking good. So let nobody deceive you. In fact, his dance, that dance song, Uru A U, that are the my children were showing me. Uru A U. That song, that dance, it is running everywhere. So, what do you mean by he's sleeping? What do you mean by he's not pushing? He's not being reluctant. He's not being like a dancer. Man has worked, and the fruits are what he's enjoying now. So, can promise, forge on, and big ups to all the Nigerian handlers and plugs who are holding him down. This is a great work done, and personally, I'm here to appreciate those who are behind him. Personally, I'm here to say we are grateful. Thanks so much. Let's do it like this, and do it like this forever and ever. Amen. Now, let's wrap up by talking about Asaka boys. Asaka boys, they are also doing something beautiful. I saw their tour dates. Asaka Boys World Tour, UK and EU, that is London and Europe. And they had 12th August, Manchester, 19th August, Northampton, um, 26th August, London, 27th August, London branch, branch party. Then from 1st September, they go to the sort of, they enter Europe. 2nd September, Modena, um, 8th September, Paris, 9th September, Antwerp, 15th September, Frankfurt, 10th September, Amsterdam. Then maybe they will be heading towards Ghana or who knows. They might even continue to America and continue some North American tour or uh, some American tours as well. When I saw the tour and I decided to check the ones that they have played before, the successes, I saw I think the Islington one in London. It was great. Numbers were good. I was so happy. Like, I was excited, like, yeah. I'm not too, I was not too sure about these guys. I'm sure if someone has, had asked me to bet on their behalf, I would say, no, I won't put my money there. But with what I've seen, I'm really impressed. It means the boys, whatever they have done over the past years, they have really made impact. It means the guys, whatever they've done, they have done well. As it stands now, I know not much is being said about them. I know the reviews are not in their favor because, one, they have not been media-friendly like that. Even in Kumasi, where they come from, I can count the number of interviews that they've granted the media. They have not been media-friendly. So the fact that they have not been media-friendly, I'm sure that is why many people are not even talking about them. But with what they are doing, it is so impressive that some big boys would even struggle to do. With what they are doing, it is so impressive that if they continue like that, they will do bigger, bigger places or bigger venues. Asaka boys. I was so satisfied when I saw that they have put out tour dates and 
they are really killing it. It's not as if the tall dates are just there in vain. They put out the date and they lived up to the billing. They are killing it. They are doing it. They are making it happen. Then I said, wow, I'm impressed. So far, so very good. As a cowboys, at least out of what they were able to do in this music industry with their drill songs, that is how come even Grammys recognized us with the Ghanaian drill in the Grammy consideration. If there is any group of people who are to get credit for that recognition of Ghanaian drill in the Grammy African music consideration, we shouldn't say it to anybody. Let's go straight to Kumasi and hand it over to the Saka boys. They did it. Because at that time, I think some two or three years back, they held the industry captive. Giving us back-to-back -back hits. Back-to-back -back hits. Thanks to Kofi Jama, Yao Tog, and all those people. They took the lead all right, leaving these guys behind. But I'm sure whilst they were there, they were also doing their homework. Now, Kofi Jama and Yao Tog, they've gone back to backbench, and these guys have taken the front line. Now look at this. Beautiful. Doing tours and selling out venues. Forget about how big or small they are. I'm sure this is their first ever attempt in doing this. So if what we are seeing is anything to go by, then it means the future looks good. If what we are seeing is anything that really convinces you that there is hope for the future, then we are done. All that we need to do is to encourage them to continue doing the songs. All that we need to do is to encourage them to continue being disciplined with their work. Sometimes this work, discipline is also part. They need to be disciplined with their work. Continue giving us good songs. Banger. Bangers upon bangers. And when they're able to do this, O2 Arena will be their last stop. Maybe Madison Square Gardens will be their last stop. Or they will also be doing the stadium. The Tottenham Hotspur Stadiums, the stadiums, the American stadiums and all those things. The New York Stadium. They can be doing all these things. It is just time, consistency, seriousness, and getting the right people to do their work with. What I've seen with the Saka boys, now I'm convinced. Initially, I thought they were lost and they don't know what they were doing. But now, with what I've seen, I'm convinced. And let me say big ups to them for um, what I've seen. Very impressive. Um, okay. I, I want to big, big them up individually because I know they also have some good things going for them. Um, at least City Boy. Uh, Bra Bank, Reggie, um, Okeneth, um, Chigodo Global, Kwaku DMC, Real J Bad, Skyface, and Beach Trap. Charlie, you guys are on top of your business. This is the way to go. Humble beginnings, you get there. Don't lose focus, keep flying, keep pushing, and let's make sure the Ghana flag is seen everywhere. After all, out of you, there is a Ghanaian drill consideration in the Grammys. Who knows? You guys might be mentioned there. A word to the wise is enough. Let's end it here. My name is Sammy Flex. We're out of here.